from George. Alex, organizations like the EU on this planet don't seem to work due to the political stranglehold they have over their member states. Are the Andromedans involved in any forums between either different regions, planets or star systems like we have on Earth? And how do these forums work for them? Okay, that's a great question. That's a great question. Now, one of the lessons of Earth has been about the exercise of power. If you look at all of the political structures, and in and, and, and most part, virtually all the structures uh, that we create, they're all based on power. The ability to have power, to control power, to manipulate power, and to garner more power. Yes, the, the A's are part of other councils, but my understanding is that none of these councils are based on power. They are based on sharing knowledge, sharing information, and implementing the sharing of the knowledge and the power, or the sharing the knowledge and the information with other races. It is not about power over. It is not about, okay, we have all this power, and we're going to hold it. That structure, that old paradigm, which began with the reptilian structures, the those in Alpha Draconis, the old Orion power structures, and, and other star systems that were caught up in that structure, most of those structures have all but crumbled. And many of them are, don't even exist anymore. There's a few that are left, but they are also crumbling because that paradigm simply doesn't work because it's not self-generating. You can't continuously feed off of something else and expect to remain healthy. You can't be healthy feeding off the life force of, of something else. Because once that force dies, once that something else dies, then you have to go to something else. What happens is, in the end, those structures are left with nothing but themselves to feed off of, and they die, and they implode. They're gone. They just implode, or they disintegrate, and they take themselves out. And if you remember, those of you who have read the notes and in some of the interviews from the 90s, you know, the A's have found remnants of civilizations on other planets that did just that. They were caught in the power struggles, and they took themselves out. They no longer even exist. All that's left is the archaeology, the geology of their civilization. Because this paradigm, it, it simply doesn't thrive. In, it was, it's not the original intent of this universe, okay, to power, to have power over. That was not the original intent. The original intent is, is self-love, self-respect, and expansion of joy and love. That was the original intent, okay? And in the end, that's all that's going to be left standing. So I hope that answers your question. And we see that today, you know, with, with, with our planet. We see these power structures beginning to crumble. That's because, you know, once you've taken everything and you've bled everything dry to keep yourself in power and there's nothing left, it's over. Game is over. You begin to feed off yourself. Okay? And that's what's going to happen. It's going to implode. They're all going to fall down on top of themselves. And those who are completely stuck and will not evolve from that power structure, that, that power over others, they will be removed. They will die in their sleep. They're going to go. They're just going to go. Okay? Because that is not the original intent of humanity. That is not the original intent of the Patal. That is just not going to continue to thrive and survive. It's over. Okay, we're just seeing the remnants. We're watching that whole thing die now. That's what it is. And um, it should be noted that we should, in fact, watch it die and learn from, learn from that history, learn from that paradigm, so that you know, future generations that are beyond us can continue to evolve 
and learn that lesson and not repeat it. It's the learning of the lesson and not repeating bit. That's the clever bit. That's what we really need. And, and it's the remembering. Yeah. It's the remembering. It's not rewriting history. It's like, okay, this is what really happened. And, and, and loving ourselves enough to say, look, mistakes were made. You know, but we've learned from them. We've moved on. Not just throw it under the rug and say, well, you know, we don't want to talk about it. Uh, it you know, I mean... It always comes back. It always rears its head. You know? Indeed. And that's the subject of some of the roundtables that, that I want to um, bring up in the future is like the true galactic history, our real history in a very detailed way, um, which I hope that uh, you'll join in uh, with uh, your perspective on that. If, if I can, surely. Um, I, I can tell you it's, it's remarkable. Ladies and gentlemen, when, when, when you finally realize, you yourself, without anybody telling you, when you finally realize and you have that moment within you where you truly grasp your place in the galaxy, in, in the universe, in the creation of time, when you realize that you are not in any way, shape, or form insignificant, that you have this lineage of experiences and lifetimes and knowledge and the fact that you are just this enormously magnificent being that is beyond description. There's just nothing like it. There is just nothing like it. And it's hard to maintain that moment here on Earth with all this containment going on. Um, but it'll get easier once the containment ends. It, it will. Uh, because you'll be able to keep more and more of it, you know. More of the, of the knowledge, more of the love, more of the emotion, uh, more of the, the intuition. You, you'll be able to maintain more of the trust that you have in you more and more and more and the more that builds the more self-love that you garner because you have more trust in you because you're not getting the crap beating out of you every day by the containment of this world trying to control and manipulate it, it's tiring yep. it really is know. you know it gets old i mean it is old it is old <laughs> 